It's rare these days to see so many tall ships sailing together in one place, especially this far south. The Lord Nelson and several other vessels from around the world arrive in Auckland at the end of the crossing from Sydney. It's the latest leg of the Southampton-based ship's epic two-year circumnavigation of the globe. Three weeks and more than a thousand miles since leaving Sydney, and the Lord Nelson has made it to Auckland, battered but unbowed, and sure of a warm Kiwi welcome. Over one weekend, thousands of visitors get the chance to step aboard and discover more about the first ship ever designed to be crewed jointly by people of all ages and all abilities. Among them is Joe Atwood, who first sailed with the Jubilee Sailing Trust more than 20 years ago. She's climbing the mast and she's nervous. It was pretty scary, really. Have you done it before? I, I did it first when I was 21. I'm now going to be 45 in a couple of weeks' time. <laughs> so a big gap. Yes, very big gap. <laughs> two six. Two six. Two six. Two six. Joe's a veteran of 20 voyages with the JST, making Alison Reed a bit of a novice. She came aboard for the first time in June. A self-confessed workaholic businesswoman, she'd never been sailing before and was looking for a new challenge. I suppose I realised that I was working too hard and I needed to get the work-life balance sorted out. She originally signed up for a six-week trip and she's still aboard six months later. It just feels so comfortable. It's like it's not alien to me at all. Uh, I can't imagine putting a suit back on or a pair of heels, uh, which is going to be a bit scary. So has she managed to change her life? And how long will she be staying aboard? Can I ever go back to usual holidays? Not that this is a holiday, this is a real expedition and adventure uh, on a personal level as well as seeing some amazing places. No, I don't think I can. I realise that I can't be at sea forever, uh, although I would love it. Uh, there's a mortgage to pay, uh, there's commitments at home, but I am rejoining the Lord Nelson next summer. That's Recife on the 18th of June, and we're sailing through the Caribbean and up to Nova Scotia in Halifax. Have I now got salt in my blood? Yes, definitely. Alison is still aboard as the Lord Nelson leaves Auckland. Joining her for the voyage to Wellington is soldier Justin Davis who was injured in Afghanistan and is a double amputee. And Alison's with him as he climbs the 33 metres of the foremast to fly the flag of his regiment from the very top. It's another highlight of her continuing adventures at sea. Richard Jones, ITV News, New Zealand.